So you are in the front view, you represent this sliding jaw guide is represented in the front view with hidden lines because you won't be able to see it when you are looking into the front view of the part. So you must also represent this feature in the top view. We already have the two visible lines that that, rep, that feature represents, but we still must represent the entire feature. So in this case, from this point to perpendicular to this point, these lines will become hidden. And that will be the same on this side. That will be the same on this side. I'm just using the line tool going from the end point to perpendicular to this line. So those lines represent this top portion of this feature we still must represent the entire feature. So we must project these corners up. So going from the end point, straight up, press enter. Line from the end point, up, Press enter, and line from the intersection, going through, line from the intersection, using trim, select this line and this line, press enter, and then select the parts of the line that you don't need. This feature or parts of this feature are going to be hidden when you look at it from the top view. These will be the only lines that represent that feature that you're able to see. We need to trim the line between the vertical lines in the right side view projection plane.